Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2, Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Long War, that Larry Iron Man endeavor, where we're going into Operation Blood Hole. It's time to destroy an alien relay and we want to yeah, further the intel that we're getting. And essentially we're working on like three different regions at the same time at the moment. Not optimal, I should reduce the effort in the other regions a little bit. Too much intel, it's just too many missions at the same time so that we're really going to the capacity maximum. However, uh, we've just been attacked in this region. Edwin was trying to claw it back and by the skin of our teeth we managed to keep this region are now going to get new resistance personnel as part of that. So. Uh, things in India are heating up, which is fun. Uh, that makes for a good playthrough. Today, uh, today in Operation Blood Hole, we're trying to get an intel package and really just further our expansion. Time for us to sit down. The Grey Knights have landed. Hawkbird and his team need to destroy the relay before things are getting out of hand. Uh, 12 uh, rounds. Uh, this here is a subway stay, uh, subway. So I fought in this area many, many, many times. Problem is we're now fighting against mechs, which isn't that much fun. Okay, pretty sure that this is not triggering. We might need your ranks. Renvin is our ki uh, Mac killer. I'm all over it. And Good to go. Mike the Public Bravo is the backup in case Renvin doesn't get the Mac down. Fighting against the mech is a problem. Not only are they sturdy, but they also do have quite a bit of offensive uh, power. Good, our shooter is positioned here. Fair enough. Our explosion guy, aka the technical, aka Dranks, is uh, trying to get maybe a flamethrower pull off of uh, them. Good, and then we got Mike. Move to here, but please stay there. No is the answer. Can we maybe get more than one of them, please? The answer to that, unfortunately, is no. Which means we're doing the second best, which is a grenade opener. Good hit. Time to shred the mech. Nice little AP rounds and Get it down. Copy that. Moves in. Takes the kill, gets the promotion.
and we'll get the loot. Okay, decent pull. There are three more packs. Two more packs, sorry. Well, three more if they come in sets of two. Trying to get the sentry. Okay. We're gonna end for the advent trooper. Okay, and we're going to uh, use the line of sight limitation of the door here. Never mind, apparently there is no line of sight, sh uh, sight limitation nowadays. Fortifying. Let's try to remove as much as we can. Oh, yeah. Free reload. Get the stun lancer. I got it, right? Go to the high ground. That's just a 57%. That would take him out. If we close the door, chances for him are even lower. And he can't see us at the moment. So we have broken line of sight. Very good. Reopening line of sight. Hopfight does what Hopfight always does. Go in, pull more enemies, triple, oh, triple Viper, and there is another pack, so there is more to come. They are well hidden. Just so that we do have a proper evic zone. Let's start with that already. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. What's over there? Now, if we move here, we're going to offer them a target which I don't want to do. Can't reach that. 26%. 23% even worse. So reload it is. We'll take that one shot because it is for free. Okay, a little bit of grazing, not bad. Closing the door, Overwatch, reload for Renven. Reopening the door. Got a couple of Snakos up here. And I know exactly how we're going to deal with them. Aggressively moving forward. I 
just out of la uh, out of range. Can we hit both? Answer is no for now. Sidewinder. Good hit. Locked on. Kill. Check it before you get too close. Ranks being in the front, gets the aid protocol. Stun strike over here. Good. Amplify over there. Mist, of course, is unfortunate. some cover here and this here is just in case Hogbite is burning, which we cannot allow. Play with fire, we're going to get burnt. But not on my watch. That close enough. Okay, move up. Still trying to learn the flame uh, thrower because it might not be too bad of an of a tool. continues to move in. And we're one falling uh, just in case. 
All right, everything is burning. Templar is so strong. Really having some fun adventures with Hogbite so far. Ready to go. And Flamer isn't as bad as I thought it was. It just gives uh, gets a lot of credit from me. Or well, starts getting a lot of credit. Good, that's one. This world is ours. Hawkbite almost got it down. It's killing time. And that's a kill. and move to evac well hello there the reinforcements just came at the right time it is how it always is Things are not working as intended. Hopbite gets kills. Like that. Raising shot. Alright, Drangs, you'll take that kill. End of turn, <coughs> and our evac is coming in. Very solid mission. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. With those four, it's just a breeze to go through the missions. It's the right uh, level of uh, cover destruction. <coughs> just shooting options with the ranger <coughs> support. And to be fair, <coughs> having the Templar with his ability to just always stun uh, one, having Volt and uh, having Amplify, and having um, nearly a hundred percent chance to hit in melee. An impressive performance, command. Our troop skills are improving with every. Now that really makes a difference. Okay, so Trojan is fun because we can permanently take over. Oh no, the permanent takeover is full override, but Trojan still is fine. Uh, enemy that have been hacked uh, afterwards can't take their actions, and you never break squad concealment if you fail to hack. But medical protocol is just too good to not take it. It is awesome. Fabulous. Good. Uh, I like that Ever Vigilant more and more. And I'm wondering if we are going for center mass. Aggression is good as well, but I think we just need straight up damage. So that's a good one as well. You could upgrade your bond. Check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. 
So those four respectively with a sniper uh, five. Oh, nice. We're going to take an engineer soon. But before we do that, what are the open options? So we got enemy material and reduction of strengths. I think we should absolutely do that. And that's already partially infiltrated. This here is one more resistance contact, which would be good. Baseline, however, is... Hmm. This is part of the liberation mission. Okay, uh, the other mission enemy material it's also very important can any of the others already pull off uh, their move that's not a good uh, squad space wolves it's okay Well, this is actually a good uh, squad, my bad. It's the Grey Knights, but they are missing their Shinobi. However, if we were to give them one more, that would be a pair of four, and that wouldn't be too bad either. Let's just double check. I think our prime sniper, Russ, has just come uh, back, so he would be available. Shinobi is lightly wounded, but yeah, we I mean we could um, pull this off. We've been picking up some weird transmissions lately. It sounds a little like German, but it's hard to tell. So it sounds a little like German, but it's hard to tell, dude. German is very easy to distinguish. Which one is the more difficult one? I think this here is the more difficult mission. No, not that one. This one here is the more difficult mission just because of the huge, um, the huge enemy baseline. <clears throat> so we're going to do that with our current free uh, SWAT. Grey Knights. Okay, they can't be selected because we already do have Grey Knights in the other SWAT. Let me uh, fix this here real quick. We do have a problem because uh, Jeranks is tired. That indeed is not good. So that'll be seven days without him and another cover removal option sonar is tired as well i don't want to pull the card off you need to get into that squad or else so this is essentially the squad uh, that we would need to run with let me fix that good so that's the team that we are going in uh, with we would get up to 117 percent which reduces it still to 16 to 18 125 would be the next breakpoint but i don't see realistically how we can do that in which case we're just going to take the 16 to 18 and uh, hopefully going to get out of it in one piece we could boost it down to 10 to 12 which isn't bad but this one here tough tough mission we'll need a lot of firepower which we arguably do have and since it is within the city the sniper will have high ground and all things are going to be fine now before we're continuing 
couple of uh, things. Still no recruit. That's not good. Avenger plotting new course. Market is open. Selling inventory here. But we do have a little bit more that we could spend. <coughs> and we could get another Lance Corporal Assault. Hmm. That's generally not bad. Let me just double check something. That would be a second assault here. Could rather use some cover destruction. Market is open. But we need a deeper roster sooner or later, so Igor will come on board. running out of manpower and that's the only way to recruit at the moment the way that it works with the haven mechanic is first uh, the ha um, if you're recruiting in havens i learned uh, that you're going to see um, only um, resistance operatives and then once you do have 13 it starts building up uh, these characters <clears throat> so I want to try something new with him and use electroshock for once. High combat intelligence is good. That'll give us an option to remove overwatch and we'll give him something to do on a, a long range perspective. Advanced defense isn't bad for him. Might as well install that and we'll give you a different gun. So never mind. Okay, that brings us to the other question. Uh, that is current activity 13 to 15. Couple more hours here. And let me just double check how long the infiltration here lasts. So say if we come in with four people, that's 21 hours. Um, I would really like to over infiltrate that. The question is, can we beat 15 enemies with three people and not take any damage? Uh, got an assault, got a gunner, got a ranger. We're missing cover removal because both of our cover removal guys are currently out of action. That's a really bad situation, Saiken, that you got yourself into. I think if we are just letting that one go a little bit longer, uh, that would be good. We did have an engineer here. Avenger plotting new course. And then we're either boosting uh, this or going into this with a higher with a higher baseline okay now we're down to a reasonable level and let's do this the designated position okay so we landed 
That's a long way. When you're under strength, uh, what you don't want to do is rush into the enemy. And this, in this particular mission, we are very much under strength. So what I want to do is we'll use line of sight, the buildings in particular, to get as close to the target as possible. Then maybe use some high ground and take it from there. Okay, we're good so far. There's our target, so we're now going to move around. Now that drone might be a problem going forward. Heading to that location. Good to go. right to the door oh yeah that gives us flanking here and there if needed that's good like what I'm seeing Moving to position. looks a bit closer oh whoa Viper Viper sectored Ugh. Mm. and more enemies that are coming towards us Another drone. And another drone. Hmm, gotta deal with those guys. Okay, let's deal with them, then we're going over here. Good. One down. Two down. And we're steadying the weapon for next turn. Another pack just arrived. Starting with a rocketeer. I nicked him. Zeroed in. Big deal. We have one pack there, I really don't want to trigger that. Okay, at least we're triggering these things one by one.
All right, so time to continue here. This is a mess, messy setup. Let's start down here. Can we get that officer? Yes, we can. This pack is a bit of a menace. I am thinking about ways of just pulling back enough so if they move in we're not immediately triggering them. But then again, is it really worth it? Could move up to here. Overwatch. Let's use this here. And down here, the moment that we're going out or opening the door, this is an immediate trigger, and I don't want that. <clears throat> Alright, good hit on the sector. Good hit on the Sector Id. Zombie can't reach us up here. Reloaded. Damn it, can't hit off three. We need to reload. Let's get the sector. 90% shot fails to connect, really. So we're staying in full cover, not exposing ourselves yet. And this should kill the sector. Okay, I don't care about the loot. We just need to win this mission. And also find an evac because reinforcements will be coming in soon. Make no mistake. Good, that's a flanking position better than a suppression. And that could be a kill. There's another pack, that's why it wouldn't flee. But its will to abandon ship might have saved us a bit of trouble. But there's another pack here, for sure, elsewise I would never see the thing go down like that. where we are overwatching for now <clears throat> yeah not a surprise not a surprise at all Try this again. Just a little off. Could 
Come on, 60%. It can't be that difficult to hit a guy, seriously. Okay, okay, all right. All right, needed to take a short break. So let's kill this guy. Lightning reflexes. Your overwatch shot does not mean anything to me. Safety precaution just in case we're missing. Let's get the trooper. <laughs> really? Alright, suppression it is. More Overwatch. Okay, I gotcha. Well, guess what? We prepared for that very moment. You want some more? On my way. Good to go. Good free reload. There's still a pack. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Will do. Let's get the supplies. Are the other chests having supplies as well? No. Not sure why they aren't fixing that stupid su uh, supply chest bug. Uh, mind, mind you, that one already existed in normal XCOM 2, so it's not a long war problem. Neutralize all enemies. That's not good. Copy that. Move it up. Let's rock. Overwatch, overwatch. Alright, what are we dealing with? Show yourself, alien scum. Let's move already. I hope it's worth it. Come and get some. Sticking on high ground as long as possible. Full cover. A drone. All right, I'll go. Good. We do have our more penetrating rounds, so this better hit. How many is that now? The area is secure. We're not picking up any inbound contacts. 
Scanners are clear. Status Ooh, are we getting corpses? Clear. Detonating charges. No, we're not getting corpses. We're not getting corpses, that would... Uh, that is not how it works. But it would be cool. Nice, we got promotions. Alright, so... I love Fortify, that's really good, but I also like uh, Executioner and since he's going to be one of uh, the ones that will benefit from it, that's the route we're going to go, plus 20 plus 20 is massive, plus he has a lot of AP, so we're going to find good additional things to purchase. Alright, Lightning Reflex is close and personal. Killer Instinct or Fortify. Fortify, I feel, is the better choice here. Yeah, we're going to go with Fortify. Just an overall really good ability. Uh, Sane, I think Shredder is uh, needed. Head of Bullets is good as well, but. Shredding is too important. We're getting thin on manpower, Commander. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. Commander, many of our soldiers can improve the strength of their bonds if we give them a place to train. Fantastic. Tired, tired. And now it's only Advance got their propaganda sane working overtime. We're still seeing a steady flow and Igor into the cities. I'm not sure they have to do all that much convincing at this point. And I'm not sure I'd trade my freedom for a few hot meals and a cure for the common cold. Can we get a normal recruit? The elderly or the disabled. The aliens can offer them something we can't. Something most people would trade any. You're wrong about that, Doctor. We can offer them freedom, even if it means they have to endure the pains of being green. Space Wolves. What are we working with? That's a good SWAT. So, and they do have a lot of willpower. So if we are doing this, right? Right now, uh, then we would get them. And that would allow us to do this here. It's not a lot of time left over, but enough uh, with maybe a boost to get the enemy material and reduce the strengths. That would be helpful. So I'll think about uh, that, but it means we're at the end of today's episode and the next one is going to happen in the next episode. If you enjoy Long War and uh, want to keep Bradford shut tight just as much as I do then leave a comment and a like down below and tell me how you would gag him and uh, make sure that he does not talk anymore thanks for watching and have a good one bye bye